In this video I will show you how to create scrolling script or titles over a video clip using free to use and download editing software. To start with you will need to create an image similar to this using a paint package. Start by opening Caden Live. Make sure that Project Monitor is selected. And in the project tree, just below clip, right click, then left click, add clip. Navigate to the folder where you saved your scrollable text to and left click on it Then left click open. Drag the script into the first timeline. You can adjust the time on this um, script by either dragging the length of it along the timeline double clicking on it and changing the length of time next to the duration or as I'm going to do in this video add the clip that you wish to put your uh, script over and dragging it into the second timeline then drag in your scrollable script so that it's the same length of time as your video. Left click on the video, then left click delete video. Left click, sorry, left click yes. Left click on the effect list. Then expand crop and transform and drag the pan and zoom button over your clip. We now need to expand this uh, script. Now the way I do it is by increments. So I'm going to put um, where it says size I'm going to change the 100% to 200% then drag the script over okay well it's not quite big enough so let's take the size up a bit let's say 230 enter drag it over yeah reasonably happy with that okay um, make a note of this figure here in the X uh, axis. This is on this instance minus 916. Now drag this little arrow over a little bit because you don't want the script to start straight away. And then left click on the plus button. Drag the arrow over again so it's just a little bit before the end of the. Um, end of the length of time line or whatever you want to call it and uh, left click plus again. This time drag the script up okay that's about it and then just to make sure that it's on the same line as the original start change the x, x axis to minus 916 again. Finally, left click here which will take you to the, the um, next uh, keyframe which in effect is the end and uh, left click the plus button add keyframe. Okay. Top of the screen left click on render And then next to your output file, 
left click on the folder and give your title a title I can just say text for ease left click OK now you've got options to save um, your video in different formats so I'm going to go for MPEG4 with MP3 video okay now all you do that is uh, just press render to file this is going to take a bit of time so I'll let it run and come back to it later okay well hopefully your uh, video should have now finished rendering and your render box should um, look like this so all I do is left click on remove job left click on close and then left click on new um, left click OK then left click no which will bring you back to a blank screen now again as before select project monitor make sure project tree is selected and right click here left click on add clip and navigate to the um, file where you saved your clip to Caden Live goes to Caden Live by default and we are looking for something yep text here you are open it up and drag it into the first timeline okay well hopefully it should be scrolling so left click on play and we're off looking good As I said before, make sure the project monitor button is selected. Um, right click again here and left click add clip. And then navigate to your folder where your video clip is stored. Then drag the clip down to the second timeline right click on the script then next to add transition left click on composite drag the composite over so that it is over the full length of the clip and then select effect list expand alpha manipulation and drag the blue screen button over the text now as we've already used blue the background will disappear you may find that there is a blue hue to the script you can remove this a bit by dragging the variance over looking pretty good bear in mind that if um, I should have done this in black really so possibly um, black on blue would have been better for this clip but anyway it gives you a rough idea how to do it um, again left click render um, make sure the render project button is selected as before I'm going to go MPEG4 with the MP3 codex next to it left click on the output file and give it a title so I'm going to call this Soulsbray help if I got my cap locked right Soulsbury I don't know, with text 
then left click on OK left click render to file and off she goes we'll leave this run a minute and then uh, hopefully we can go back and see if it's working OK OK, well that's finished, so we'll remove the job, close, close again, not going to bother saving the changes, so no, close, yeah, that's looking good, OK, well, that's me finished. Thanks for watching. Cheers.